We eat brunch on Sundays, and today we're having chorizo eggs benedict with a creamy cilantro holiday sauce. And we're going to start out with one pound of ground pork. I use about an 80-20 mix. And to this, we add five-ish cloves of garlic. It should equal about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of chili powder, about one and a half tablespoons of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of cumin, an eighth a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of ground cloves. I've ground up some coriander seeds and peppercorn seeds, about a half a teaspoon of each, because fresh is so much better. To this, I'm adding four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and mix to incorporate. Next, heat one tablespoon of olive oil, mix, and cook until it's completely done. Now, let's taste this. Mmm, oh my gosh, it is so good. Let's poach some eggs. We're going to take two cups of water and one tablespoon of white vinegar. I like to swirl my water around and then gently crack my egg into the center. The vinegar will help keep it incorporated and the swirling will help it keep it together as well. They may not be the prettiest, but they do hold together and they are delicious. With the yolks still runny in the middle and the whites completely cooked, I like to reserve them over in a bowl of warm water. This stops the cooking process, but leaves the eggs still quite warm. So I can gently scoop it out with my soft plastic slotted spoon and see how it jiggles. The yolk is still runny on the inside. And we'll just keep them reserved over to the side. And there's all my eggs. So when it's time to assemble, they'll still be warm. So now I'm gonna work on the hollandaise sauce. I'm gonna add three yolks, and then I'm gonna blend them. What we wanna look for is a light yellow and a bit of thickness. I'll show you. See the color change? And as I move it around on the inside, it's kind of thick. Our next step, I heat one stick of butter in the microwave till it's completely melted and it's hot. And I slowly drizzle it in the top of the blender. A lot of people make mistakes here and they put it in at once and this cooks your egg and it ruins the sauce. Next, I'll add a fourth a teaspoon of cumin and a fourth a teaspoon of salt, about a fourth of cup of cilantro and a fresh squeeze of lime juice, about two tablespoons. I'll quickly blend that together and our holiday sauce is complete. Next, I'll toast some English muffins. We'll assemble them with the chorizo on the bottom on top of the English muffins and then some avocado and that little nook right there it's a perfect place to hold those poached eggs our creamy cilantro holiday sauce some fresh red onions and cilantro fresh ground pepper and ta-da it is complete enjoy bon appetit